Okay, so here we're going to look at the overview of a cell's life. Now, generally, cells will go through all phases I will be discussing. However, there are some cells, such as um, the nervous system cells, neurons, or, and also muscle cells. Uh, this cell cycle does not apply to them. They spend forever in the first phase. So generally, a cell, when it's freshly made by um, mitosis or cell division, it's going to enter into the G1 phase. Now, G1 is for cell growth. The cell grows, makes organelles, does its daily life activities, and pretty much exists um, in G1 for the majority of its lifetime. Now, if a cell receives signals, they can be internal or external signals, uh, that it's time to divide and make more copies of itself, uh, the cell will enter into um, S phase. Now, S phase, the S stands for synthesis. And this phase, we will be synthesizing or making DNA. Because it logically, if you think about it, if the cell all of a sudden is told, hey, we need to make some copies, well, the first thing we got to think about is, well, dang, I need to have the copies have the same amount of DNA as the original. So because we need to make sure that the copies or daughter cells have the same amount of DNA, we need to copy it. So that happens in S phase. Uh, this is DNA replication. Then um, our second uh, G phase, G2, is when the cell is preparing for mitosis. So at this point, the cell might be making copies of organelles. It's getting ready for uh, cell division. So basically, a cell in G1 is living its life. If it enters into S phase, it's going to divide. Now, uh, G1, S, and G2 make up part of the cell cycle called interphase. Now, interphase is where the cell spends 90% of its life in interphase. Um, once interphase is over, uh, that leads us to M phase. M stands for mitosis. So here we have M phase, um, or the cell division part of the cycle. And M phase is actually made up of mitosis and cytokinesis. Now, mitosis is technically the division of the nucleus. When we copied that DNA, now we have to divide it. So each new cell has a copy. And then we have cytokinesis, which is splitting of the cytoplasm. Uh, once the two brand new cells are made, they go back into G1. Now let's go ahead and look. Here's a cell that's an interface, just hanging out. And let's pretend it receives some signals, hey, time to make some copies. What's going to happen is it's going to enter into S phase. And during S phase, that's where the DNA gets copied or synthesized. Now we have twice as much DNA as we started with. Uh, we can't stop here because now we do not have an identical cell. There's too much DNA at this point. So the next step would be is we need to figure out a way to separate this DNA. So we're going to have to align it. We align the, all the chromosomes along the middle of the cell so it's easier to divide them in half. So we align the DNA along the middle of the cell and then we're going to separate it. When we separate the DNA or the chromosomes, we separate them to opposite sides of the cell and this is called mitosis. Uh, after mitosis has happened, we will divide the cytoplasm giving us two freshly formed identical daughter cells. These cells now are back in G1 and will live their lives until they receive messages to divide.